Hello, hello everybody! Again. This time we're doing about Unit 6. Seasons and Adaptations of Plants and Animals. Lesson 6.1 The Earth Moves Around the Sun We are going to describe the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. Describe how the tilt of the Earth can create different seasons in different places. Use diagrams as models to describe the Earth's orbit around the Sun and seasons. Note that a diagram can show some of the important features. Use the internet and library books to answer questions. Getting started. What is this model of the Earth called? What does the stick through the earth represent? What causes day and night? Earth's orbit, as well as turning on its axes, the earth revolves or moves around the sun. The path the earth travels around the sun is called an orbit. The key words are ellipse, hemisphere, north pole, orbit, revolve, rotate, season, slight ellipse, south pole, tilt, and year. This orbit is shaped a bit like an egg. This shape is called an ellipse. This orbit is not a perfect ellipse, so scientists call it a slight ellipse. Because of the shape of the orbit, the Earth is sometimes closer to the Sun and sometimes further away from the Sun. The average distance between the Earth and the Sun is 150 million kilometers. Wow, that's really long. It takes 365 and a quarter of days, or one year, for the Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. In that time, the Earth has traveled 940 million kilometers. That's a very big number. The Sun is bigger than the Earth. So the Sun exerts a bigger gravitational force on the Earth than the Earth does on the Sun. Think like a scientist. A model of Earth's orbit. Give reasons why the diagram above is a good model for the Earth orbiting the Sun. In what way is the diagram not a good model? Why is the shape of the orbit described as a slight ellipse? Which force keeps the Earth in its orbit around the Sun? While the Earth is orbiting the Sun, what other movement is the Earth making? One day, one year, is 365 and a quarter days. But we don't have one day in a year that is six hours long. How do we manage the one quarter of a day? Use the internet to find this answer. The seasons. The seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Seasons are caused by the Earth orbiting the Sun once a year and the tilt of the Earth's axis. Each season occurs when the Earth is at a particular position and it's or in its orbit around the Sun. The months that you experiment that you experience each season depend on which hemisphere you live in. Countries between the equator and the North Pole are in the Northern Hemisphere. Countries between the equator and the South Pole are in the Southern Hemisphere. When the Northern Hemisphere has summer, the Southern Hemisphere has winter. This is because the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. In summer, the days are long and the nights are short. At the equator, there are no seasons. There is an equal day and night on every day of the year.
Look at the diagram of the positions of Earth each month in its orbit around the Sun. Find Earth in a June position. Because of the tilted axis, notice that the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. This means the northern hemisphere is having more daylight and darkness. The northern hemisphere is having summer. The southern hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun and is therefore having winter. Now, find the Earth in the Mars position. Notice that the whole Earth is facing the Sun. As the Earth rotates on its axis, all the Earth will be facing away from the Sun. Both hemispheres are having an equal amount of day and night. March is autumn in the southern hemisphere and spring in the south in the uh southern hemisphere. Yeah, what I think is northern. Activity one. Find information on a diagram of Earth in its orbit. Of the diagram on the diagram of the season on the opposite page, find Earth in a December position in its orbit. Which hemisphere is turning towards the sun? Which hemisphere is having summer? Why? Find a September position of the Earth in its orbit. Which hemisphere is tilted towards the sun? Which season is the northern hemisphere having? Which season is the southern hemisphere having? Which two factors cause the seasons? How am I doing? How well can I get information about seasons from a diagram of the Earth and its orbit around the sun? Choose one from very well, always, sometimes, and I need some help with this. Different seasons in different parts of the world. Look at the diagram below, which shows the Earth in its December position in its orbit around the sun. Notice that the side of Earth facing the sun is having day. The side of Earth facing away from the sun is having night. The tilted axis causes the southern hemisphere to be tilted towards the sun. The region around the South Pole is having continuous daylight. Activity 2 Use a diagram to find information about the seasons. Use a diagram to answer questions 1 to 3. Which hemisphere is having summer? How do you know this? Which part of the world is having 24 hours of darkness? What is the length of day at points A, B, and C? If you lived on the equator, why would you have seasons? If you lived on the equator, would you have seasons? Explain why or why not. The photograph on the opposite page shows the midnight sun. It was taken at midnight in December. Which, in which part of the world do you think this photograph could have been taken? Do the diagrams in this topic help you to understand how seasons occur? Look what I can do. I can describe the orbit of the Earth around the sun. I can describe how the tilt of the Earth creates different seasons in different places. I can use diagrams as models to describe the Earth's orbit around the sun and seasons. I know that a diagram can show me some of the important features. I can use the internet and library books to answer questions. So, that's the end of lesson 6.1. Thank you and goodbye!